If you're a YouTuber and you want to have the most productive workstation, don't add a PlayStation right next to your desk because you won't be doing any work. So I don't think I've actually filmed a desktop tour video at all this year. And so I'm gonna make up for that right now. But this entire desktop setup is provided by Uplift Desk. They're not sponsoring this video at all. They just sent over this sweet desktop setup and I've made everything just within arm's reach just to make it an all-in-one productive workstation. Uh, ironically, I just moved into this studio. Don't really like it. So I'm actually moving out in about a month. And so I will be making another desktop tour video uh, fairly soon. Anyway, the foundation of this entire desktop setup is the V2 standing desk. This is the, the 48 by 30 inch version and you can actually customize what size desk is right for you on the Uplift Desk website. It's totally cool. But I feel like 48 by 30 is like the right size for me. Also, I feel like I can add a lot of things without making it feel all cluttered and everything. I mean, just Look how nice this is. And of course, since it's a standing desk, there's this control panel that you can program whatever height you want the desk to, to be at. And behind the uplift desk is actually really cool to keep things organized. There's a cable tray to hide all your cables and wires. And there's a couple of electrical outlets so that you can plug in whatever accessories you want next to the desk. All right, so we're behind the desk. Here's the cable tray. I know it's a mess. Calm down. I'm moving out of my office. But if you want to organize your cables, make sure you don't see any cables in your desktop setup and definitely use the cable tray better than what I'm doing right now. I also got a few more accessories for my desk, like I got these soft roller casters so that I can move the desk wherever I want in my studio. I've got this desk extension tray to put my Rodecaster Pro 2, and of course my PlayStation accessories. Oh, and I also have this drawer with a shelf on it. I haven't installed it yet because I am moving into a, a another studio, so I'll probably install that later. But this is cool because I can add small accessories in that desk as well as slide in my laptop on the shelf. And what I really love about the Uplift Desk website is that you can add whatever accessory you want just to make your entire desktop setup more productive and a lot more fun. Of course, you got the usual office stuff like organizers and trays, but you can also get some pretty fun things like this foot hammock. And I uh, gotta talk about the chair as well. This chair is also from Uplift Desk. This is the Pursuit Ergonomic Chair. I really love it. It's great, very comfortable, good back support, neck support. You can make all the adjustments over here, but yeah, a perfect chair for those long, long hours of editing or playing a game. All right, let's get to all the other fun stuff on my desk. First, the, the center piece of my desktop setup, and that is my BenQ 32 inch HDR 4K monitor. I have been using this thing for years. I love it. I've made plenty of videos about this monitor. I've got a light bar over here. Just makes it easier for my eyes when I'm looking at this monitor for hours and hours and hours. And just below that is a monitor stand from GroveMade. I love anything that GroveMade makes, really high quality products. But I like this particular stand because I can add other things to help my entire workflow that much more efficient. Here I've got a tray for like pens and sticky notes and all those other fun things. Right next to it is my SSD drive. Below that is my CalDigit T4 hub. I love this thing because I can connect pretty much everything through this hub from my laptop to my monitor to my speakers to the Rodecaster Pro 2. Also there are extra ports in the front if I need to plug in other accessories uh, as well as an SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. And then next to that is my MacBook Pro. Uh, everything is actually connected. Hold on. Ugh. It's not as easy doing it with one hand. But this is the only computer that I have, and I wanted to have a very simple connection from my MacBook to everything else. And so I'm able to plug everything in to my computer with one single Thunderbolt 4 cable. And I just love the simplicity of that. Like, it's a mess back there because there's like a bunch of cables uh, behind. But the fact that I can just plug in my laptop with just one cable is pretty awesome. And over here is my favorite wireless keyboard and mouse. This is the uh, Logitech MX Keys and the MX Master 3, such a classic. And the speakers that I've been using for a couple years now is the Cantu YU2s. I love those speakers and also they look real, real good. Uh, next to that is my Rode Pod mic, with the podcast arm. It's great if I need to do voiceovers, I can just pull it down, adjust the mic and just speak into it. Or if I have a script on the screen, I can just read off that. But thanks to this uplift desk, I'm able to place that to the side of my desk and uh, pull it out whenever I need to. And of course I have the Rodecaster Pro 2, which is connected to my pod mic. It's a bit overkill for me, uh, I'll be honest. Like I don't really 
record podcasts or have guests to do podcasts. So I don't really need all these channels to record audio, but I do love the Rodecaster Pro 2. And again, that is connected to my CalDigit T4 hub. And since we're over here, uh, I have a gaming monitor. This is the Sony InZone AIM-9 27 inch gaming monitor. I love it. It's such a great size for gaming. And of course, next to it, I have the, the PS5 and other junk over here. But yeah, for, for the most part on the surface, this is where I do my edits, business, and uh, this is where I have a little bit of fun. Lighting up this area of my studio is the Amaran 200D. Uh, I have a drop ceiling mount over there just to suspend it because I didn't want to have like a like a light stand over here. And the modifier that I am using is the Aperture Light Dome SE. So all that provides nice soft lighting. Also, uh, I hate these office ceiling lights. They're just so depressing. And I don't really have any windows. So the best option for me is to have a nice light source like the Amaran 200D. Oh, and these cool wooden slats, uh, they're from Wood Up. They're pretty cool, really high quality. And behind the actual wooden slats uh, are our sound treatment material, so uh, so that's cool. They actually come in one foot panels and you can stack as many as you want depending on the size of your wall, but yeah, love these panels. And then below here, it's a, it's a bit of a mess and so a little embarrassed to show you, but that's where my PS5 is. It's my power backup over here and I have my QNAP uh, 472 XT NAS as well as the expansion unit. And all of that is just kind of set on this little stand that I have over here. I know, it's such a mess, such a disaster. I mean, it's, it's pretty up here though, but um, not so much down here. And the point for this entire configuration is so that I can have everything within arm's reach, which is why I feel like it's a very productive setup. Like I can edit my videos, do my business. I can pull the mic over if I need to do a voiceover, if I need to stream, or if I want to take a break, I could, you know, play a little PS5. Or if I feel a bit fatigued, I can use a standing desk and uh, make the desk go higher. Or I can turn around and film my YouTube videos because I have my light over here and other things. And yeah, it's such a mess. And I would give you a tour of, of of this studio, but since I'm moving out, it's kind of pointless. But at the very least, I wanted to show you the desktop setup that I've been using for the past nine months. Well, that is my all-in-one desktop setup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you have a sweet desktop setup as well and you've made a video about it, then share those links in the comments below. I would love to check it out. But uh, I think I'm done making videos today. I'm just gonna play Rocket League for the rest of the afternoon. So uh, <laughs> yeah, productivity.